everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and welcome back to another review and today I'm going to be taking a look at an FE Rail Class 58 which is basically the Helgen tooling this model I have is 58018 in the Rail Freight coal set delivery now I have reviewed these 58s before so I was unsure at first if I was going to do a review on this but in the end I decided to do so so I'm not going to beat about the bush let's just get straight into the unboxing part of the video and then we'll get straight into having a look at the model so here we have 58018 out of the box and down on the layout. So first thing to report, as I always do with these models, there aren't any quality control issues with them, no damage done to the model, no bits missing, etc. So that's great to see as always. And also straight out of the box, she runs. She will need running inevitably, like all new models do, but she works perfectly and the mechanism on this is smooth as well. Also, the model has working directional lights. Now, the headlights, when they come on, on this model, they're a warm white colour. But looking at footage I've seen of the headlights on these locos, they're not in that warm white colour. They're more of a yellow colour. Am I right in thinking, is that what the colour it is? To my eyes, it's hard to tell, but it's not that warm white colour that this model has. So if you were fussed by that, I'm sure some paint will sort that out. Because I've seen some people do that with models such as this. So now we're going to make a start with the detail. Now considering that this is fairly old tooling now, the detail is not bad by any means. We have sprung buffers, not that I have much care for them, but they're there. They are made out of plastic, though metal buffers would have been nice to see, but that is what it is. The buffer beam detail is already pre-fitted, even though in the instruction manual it talks about fitting those parts but they're not supplied with the model not in the accessory bags anyway it's already fitted for you but there you go also we have separately fitted window wipers and also the handrail on the front of the loco is also separately fitted and that's been painted even this detail here which is the jumper cable there that's separately fitted as well the detail on the bogies is fairly basic to be honest all the detail on those is moulded, but it's not poor quality moulding though, and there's certainly no bits of flash on the bogies either. However, there's not too much moulded detail on this model though. You have the handrails by the cab doors, and those handrails they're separately fitted and they're painted. There's detail inside the cab interior, it's not all painted mind, but some of it is, the seats there, and also that control there. Just above the roof we have a separately fitted handrail that is made of plastic it's not metal but it's separately fitted and it's painted and even the grills on top of the roof fans there these are not moulded this is separately fitted and I think they're actually made of metal as well I think and you do have the roof fans underneath there, which they're not part of the moulding. They're separately fitted detail parts. The underframe detail is also basic. It's not terrible by all means. Far from it. It's just that none of the detail on there is separately fitted. But there is separately fitted detail in other areas though. Mainly with the handrails. The livery application, I think is very well applied. I mean on the one cab side on the other side of the low cab there is a small mark on the lower cab side but apart from that though I mean you can only really notice it so much when you look closely at it. I could perhaps at some point maybe just get a little bit of paint and paint over it but for the most part it doesn't really bother me because it's not anything too serious you know I can't see any imperfections or blemishes otherwise which is great 
And you know, the livery it has been very well captured as well. It's the triple grey livery as we know it. You have the light grey on the lower half of the cab sides and on the lower half of the body. You have the medium grey on top of that in the middle of the body. And then the dark grey around the cab side windows, the doors and on the roof. And this is one of the liveries that I remember seeing the 58s in because I am old enough to have seen them. And it was liveries such as the coal sector livery here, the mainline freight blue livery in EWS that I remember seeing them in. I'm too young to really remember seeing them in the rail freight grey livery, which is the livery they were applied in when they were new. The only time I have seen a 58 in that livery was 58001 at Barrow Hill in 2008, and that was before it went abroad. And that loco this year has actually since been scrapped. Now you will notice that these smaller body side grills, just underneath the larger ones here, I've painted these black. Well, I say painted, I've just used a fine tip black permanent marker for that. And the reason I have done that is because I have had to go back through photographs and footage to jog my memory to remember what colour the smaller grills were and looking through the photos and videos mostly they are black I have seen at least maybe one or two footage where the grills aren't as dark and aren't as black as you see them here and they are pretty much nearly almost the same colour as this light grey here on the body side so perhaps maybe those smaller grills were painted grey when they first came out of the paint shop I'm not too sure but in the majority of the videos and the pictures I've been looking at, they are black, and so that's why I've made them black. You have the coal sector logos on the body side, on either side of the body, very crisply and well applied. And then you also have the Totem Depot plaque, also crisply printed on the body sides as well. The logo's re number, 58018, is crisply applied on the cab sides as well as what would be a stainless, st a stainless steel BR double arrow logo just underneath that. Of course you don't get any etched ones supplied with the model. You can buy them from elsewhere and I might do that. But the printed ones though, they look good. Then you have the nameplate, High Marnham Power Station. Very crisply and neatly applied on the cab sides. Right, so we've covered the detail on the model, so now we're going to do a running session. And I shall get my other 58 running, so we can do a class 58 running session. I'll get that hauling an engineering train, I'll get this one, 58018, hauling my rack of HAA hoppers. So I'll get it hauling a merry-go-round train. And then I'll come on to my conclusion, so we'll see you in a bit.
right, so the running session's now over, so I'm now going to give my conclusion on this model. So, for my verdict, I really do like the Helgen 58s. They're not bad models by any means. I'm sure in the future there's going to be a new tool 58 on the market. I can see it happening, quite possibly. But there's nothing wrong with the Helgen models. I think they are really nice models. And if you can still find one of the FE rail releases at a retailer, then I definitely give it some thought. Definitely consider it, because they are worth picking up, to be fair. Sure, OK, maybe there's a few minor things that could be improved, such as maybe some more cab interior detail in there, and separately fitted detail on the bogies, but I still think it's a very nice model. So that's it then for my review on the FE Rail Class 58. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. As ever, if you like what you see, please do subscribe to the channel. It won't cost you anything. Smash that like button. Feel free to leave a comment and check out all my other videos I have on the channel. But until next time, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.